Hello dear Dwarfians, this is Marcus and this is my very first attempt to expand my viewer community from the German to the English speaking parts of the world. So a big hello to my theoretically first Dwarf Fortress tutorial in your language. For my German viewers, the coming videos will still appear in German as well, so don't worry. Today it's all about the golden juice. No, it's not about beer or body liquids you maybe think about now but about the whiskers end product of cute insects from the Hypenoptera group. It's about honey, beekeeping and its byproducts as a special part of the food industry. We will start in just a few seconds. You might use the time already for thinking about liking this video or subscribing to my channel Zwergenfestung, which is by the way simply the German translation for Dwarf Fortress. The process in this production chain is actually quite simple. All you need is an existing wild bee colony somewhere on your map, which is usually the case. If this is the case, you can produce and set up a beehive. This must then be populated by an existing colony. From then on, time begins to run. After three months you have the opportunity to divide this colony and to expand it to another hive, if you want to increase your production, which is also recommended at the beginning. After six months a honeycomb and royal jelly will be produced. Both can then be collected by the beekeeper. However, a jug is required for the royal jelly, after which it can be used in food production. The honey is extracted from the honeycomb using a screw press. This also requires a separate jug. Beeswax is then produced as a byproduct, which can be further processed into other products by the Crafts Dwarf. Honey can then be further processed into meat or used as an ingredient in food production. Mm. We built the whole thing once in the game. In the Craft Dwarf workshop, we first make the hive. This can be made of stone or wood. The metalsmith can make it out of various metals. And it's also possible to use glass and ceramics, but let's not get weird. When the hive is finished, it can be set up using structures, workshops, farming, hive. It is important that this is done outside, otherwise the process will not work. Then select the option Install Colony when ready. A beekeeper will move an existing colony of bees into the hive. As soon as the colony is in the hive, you can see this from the 10 to 20,000 live honeybees in the hive. Incidentally, the number is random and does not affect production in any way. You can already decide whether you want to harvest the bee products or not. However, this also means that the colony will be destroyed. If you don't have that many bee colonies on your map and want to expand your production, I recommend first setting up more hives and not using at least one hive as a backup. Then the waiting begins. After three months you will receive the message ready to be split in the hive. From now on another hive can be colonized with the colony. 
but the split status is then reset again for another 3 months. If no splitting has taken place for 6 months, you will automatically receive Honey Bee Wax Honeycomb and Honey Bee Royal Jelly in the hive. Now let's move on to the harvest. The craft dwarf first produces a few jugs. The beekeeper can now use these to collect the royal jelly. The honeycombs can be transported without any additional items. Honeycombs can be stored in the finished goods with tools and wax enabled. Honey can be stored in the food stockpile under animal extracts as honey bee honey, where you can also find the royal jelly just produced. Even though bumblebee honey and royal jelly are listed here, it's not possible to obtain and process the corresponding products from bumblebees. Incidentally, the full jugs have not had the graphic for some time, which makes them invisible in the warehouse. However, they can still be used as normal. This bug can be fixed with a mod which I will link in the video description. After royal jelly and honeycombs have been collected, they can now be processed further. Under workshops you will find the screw press for extrusion. Here you can use the press honey from honeycomb task to produce honey, if you still have an empty jug left. You will then have a jug full of honey and beeswax. You can now process the honey into meat in your still for example. Both royal jelly and honey can also be used to prepare meals. However, if you want to force their use, you must allow a stockpile with the ingredients as the only source for your kitchen, but this is another topic. The wax can then be processed into amulets, earrings, etc. at the Craft Dwarf Workshop with the Make Wax Crafts task. Production can then be expanded by setting up a few more beehives. Just don't overdo it, because production is already severely limited over 40 hives and nothing is produced when having over 60 active hives. As you can see, beekeeping is really no rocket science. 
It doesn't create any crazy expensive products within the production chain, but meat production, which I completely ignored for a long time, is still a way of producing drinks when there are no other foods left to distill or to provide other drink variations or fulfill needs. Do you also feel that beekeeping hasn't been on your radar yet? And do you have any special requests for topics I should cover in the next videos? Please let me know what you think in the comment sections below the video. Thank you very much and see you next time.